What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking dead family, my fighters. I'm one eye bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about some major spoilers, photos, news, information for really the last two episodes of The Walking Dead. So episodes 23 and 24, we believe it's filming news, photos, major information. Now, photo credit to everybody who took these photos. Ben, Stephanie, Beth, Tony, all these people, they're not me. Photo credit to them. Want to give a shout out to them for sure. But we saw some photos going around a couple weeks ago when they were filming in Griffin and then recent filming in Noonan and then other filming in Griffin and other filming there. But we got to see a bunch of different stuff and it looks like we're going to have some major battle sequences and scenes coming up in either episode 23 or 24, whatever it is towards the end of the series. So we get to see Daryl carrying a woman or a girl, and we think that it's either between Lydia and Judith. Some people think Lydia, I think Judith for a variety of reasons. But a lot of these photos here, we don't see a couple people. Aaron, Jerry, who else, right? I mean, major cast is obviously seen right here. You see Daryl, Connie, Max, Eugene, Negan, Carol, Maggie, you see a bunch of people, main players here, either around filming in the scenes, even Diane and stuff there, but you don't see Aaron and Jerry. So did they die off? I don't know, but we think that Judith is safe because this was the recent filming, again, either episode 23 or 24. We think it was more recently in episode 24, the series finale. We got to see a lot of great photos between takes. Again, you could see Rosita, Luke, Yumiko, and Max. So they look to be very much alive. Luke is covered in zombie guts. So we see Magna and Luke. And it's pretty obvious who makes it to the end of the series, episodes 23 or 24. And then we saw recent photos of who makes it to the series finale. So it's kind of crazy to think that so many cast members make it. We see Diane, Carol, Maggie, Eugene, a.k.a. John Thick. So we'll get to see a bunch of people. Princess Max, you know, this is a lot of it's from episode 23, we believe. Again, things may change and we're not sure about the exact episodes, but 23, 24, the end of the series. Negan, Rosita, we know characters are going to survive because they have spinoffs. Are we going to get more spinoffs? Are we going to get a princess spinoff? A Eugene and Max spinoff? We should be getting the Carol and Daryl spinoff. Now, the word was, or is that Norman Reedus suffered a concussion in recent filming the finale. So that could be kind of interesting to see what happens with the finale filming if they have to go a little bit longer. The word is that they may film till April 1st. Now again, we get to see Mercer and Ezekiel at the end of the series. We know this is the end because of the blue tarps around the try and block, but people got these great photos. Anyway, you could see Elijah and Lydia Connie, Kelly, Magna, and Yumiko. So again, so many people survive. Lydia survives. We thought she may die. But again, no Aaron, no Jerry. Connie, Yumiko, Kelly, Magna all survive. This looks to be the same spot where they film some major scenes in the finale, the end of the series. You see Eugene, Max, and a baby. There's a baby Coco. And we'll talk about Rosita at the end of the video, that's for sure. Now we got to talk about this. A lot of people are like, oh, it's a helicopter, CRM confirmed, Rick confirmed, it's gonna happen. Well, I think, and some people think like, um, and Walls Recaps thinks that it's a news reporting helicopter that got to see the filming location and it's just a news channel helicopter. Not a CRM helicopter, nothing to do with The Walking Dead, just an actual news chopper. So is it them? Is it CRM coming by? Is Rick gonna drop by for the finale? We don't know, but it kind of seems like it's just the news reporting that The Walking Dead was filming there. And I'm sure it's gonna spread like wildfire. But we know that Maggie and Negan are getting their own spinoff. I would personally love to see another spinoff with Mercer. I would love to see that. I would love to see a show, some sort of connection with the character. Doesn't have to be after the story, it can be his time at the Commonwealth or before he got there. So we get to see other filming photos and we see Rosita, Father Gabriel and Eugene and their stunt doubles a lot. And there's a report that Rosita gets bit in the finale and she dies. So we don't get to see that and it is a report from reliable sources. And we see a lot of Eugene, Father Gabriel and Rosita. So they were doing a lot of filming you know, it's away from the studio, away from Alexandria. They're out and about in, you know, Noonan, a town in Georgia. 
a city in Georgia. And it's one of those things where you get to see the cast. There's a lot of people getting photos with Father Gabriel and Eugene, and it's awesome. So we get to see that these characters clearly survive. But again, Eugene is kind of connected with Rosita, and Father Gabriel is connected with Aaron. But Aaron is nowhere to be found. So that leads me to believe that he's in danger. Now, Greg Nicotero is going to direct the final episode of the Walking Dead series. He recently had a birthday, so happy birthday to Greg Nicotero. He's rocking a birthday hat with a shark on it, so he's Greggy Shark, do 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 Greg Shark, do 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 Greg Shark, happy birthday. So it's pretty cool that Greg Nicotero is going to be involved with the final episode. He does a great job. I do like his episodes. He's just very very important for the Walking Dead universe. So we get to see Eugene, Greg, and Father G around these scenes over and over again, stunt doubles, and it's pretty cool that we get to see this. It's, if you like spoilers, it's really cool. If you don't like spoilers, then it kind of sucks. But it's one of those things where we're getting more and more information. A lot of people are wondering, how is this stuff getting out? Is it leaked? Are they gonna film 15 different death episodes so they throw us off? I don't think they care that much, right? This isn't the Negan lineup where they had death sequences and the Negan bat Lucille stuff over and over and over again to throw us off. This is just out and about and they're filming. And majority of the cast seems to survive except for Rosita. So it just makes sense that Rosita gets killed off for a variety of reasons. And we do see a lot of different people with baby Coco. Well, not a lot. Eugene and Father Gabriel and I guess Rosita too with baby Coco, or the stunt double at least. So you get to see that Father Gabriel, Eugene, and Rosita are connected with a scene, a major scene, and a sequence you put two and two together, plus the information that's going around. These are the stunt doubles, Rosita stunt double on the left, Father G in the middle, and Eugene on the right. The stunt doubles are highly used in this scene, or the sequence that we'll see in the finale. A bunch of walkers are down the alleyway here, and then we're gonna talk about a red ambulance. The red theory strikes again, whether you like it or not, it's connected with Rosita's death scene. Again, you see Eugene with baby Coco on his back, well, probably a dummy of baby Coco on the back of Eugene. You saw it previously with Father Gabriel. So the baby gets passed around a little bit here. So again, you get to see the stunt double for Eugene, Josh McDermott. I think he does a great job as Eugene and I would love to see him in a spinoff, how about you? And again, let's talk about Rosita. So the word is that Rosita gets bit and she's gonna die. So it's kind of a weak way. So we gotta talk about the red ambulance here. And ambulances aren't always red like this, right? This is bright red all over red. It's really a red ambulance. Clearly it's red. So to me, it's the red theory coming back around again, striking to the very end of the series. And it's connected with Rosita. We're going to see here in a couple photos, a decent amount of photos too. It's a common wealth red ambulance. So the word is, is that Rosita is going to be surrounded by walkers. She gets away, but she gets bit. So we see a bunch of walkers here, the red ambulance, and then you're gonna see Rosita go towards the ambulance, and the word is that she goes in there. So you see Rosita right there, going in the red ambulance. Red ambulance, red, red, all I see is red. So I don't know what to tell you guys, the people don't believe it, but Rosita was in the front seat, per Stephanie Andrews, who saw it, does a great job, shout out to her and the Not Dead family. And again, all the people who took the photos, shout out to them. So Rosita gets into the red ambulance, and baby Coco is probably going towards there too. And the other stuff is that something happens with Rosita, probably Eugene and Father Gabriel, they may be around there, but I'm guessing, well, from the photos, we get to see Rosita's stunt double on top of the ambulance. So here's the ambulance, and then you see Rosita's stunt double on top of it with baby Coco, well, the stunt dummy baby or the fake baby, whatever you wanna call it, not a real baby, obviously, in the pouch there. So when the baby Bajorn is a baby, you see Rosita's stunt double talking to Greg on a platform, and I'm guessing she's going to jump from this platform into the building, and be like, oh, she made it. Because you see Rosita's stunt double, Eugene's stunt double, and Father Gabriel's stunt double. I thought it was Daryl's stunt double, but it's clearly Eugene, Father Gabriel, and Rosita in this scene. And per the TW Universe spoilers, and we are the Walking Dead fans, and not that family, and everybody there, Eugene, Father Gabriel, and Rosita are stuck in the alley by walkers. Rosita is surrounded, still holding Coco, but runs away. It's revealed that she was bitten and will die, nothing being cut. Sorry, everyone. 
and we are the Walking Dead fans is a reliable source and that's the source for it. And I talked about some of this stuff in a previous video, but I shared new photos and information with you guys. So like, share, subscribe, stay in the know by subscribing to the PT channel. Stay safe and as always, tell them Daryl.